My dad wasn't governor. He worked in a steel mill. My mom sacrificed her college degree to work two jobs to provide for our family so that someday I could go to college. For 37 years, my stepdad wore a hard hat. I wasn't raised in a political family, and my parents didn't trust politicians. So I wasn't sure what to expect when I told them I was running for state representative. But their advice was simple. Don't forget where you came from. Ignore the skeptics, don't give up, and don't be like the rest of them. For 10 years, I've taken their advice. I ignored the skeptics that said Harrisburg would never put state spending online, and my bill delivered Penn Watch. I delivered on my promise to bring jobs to Western Pennsylvania when my bill landed 10,000 jobs in Shell's $6 billion plan. I voluntarily posted my own expenses online, and I honored my term limit pledge. But now, as Jan and I raise our family, I just can't sit back and watch Congress continually jack up the deficit to a trillion dollars and to tack it on to $20 trillion in debt that your kids and my kids will be forced to pay back. The old guard has created a mess. Washington won't change itself. And combined, we've given Lou Barletta and Bob Casey 20 years to fix it, and they've made it worse. So I'm running for the United States Senate because excuses don't cut it. It's time for results. On May 15th, it's him or me. It's a name from the past or a candidate for the future.